welcome back to my channel so I have a full face of Thrive Cosmetics so if you want to know more about the brand then keep on watching baited you guys into this video because I really don't have like the full full face of Thrive Cosmetics. Let's be real, I don't have the budget to buy <laughs> every single item that Thrive has. But I kind of chose the products that I feel like I'm going to need in my collection. Maybe I'm running out of it or it's something that I need or it's something that I am really, really into. I have some items here that I think are going to really interest you and kind of give you an idea what products are good, what products aren't so good or just, you know, kind of meh. So let's get started. The first thing that I bought from Thrive Cosmetics is their CC cream. Um, this is called the Buildable Blur CC cream with blur effect technology and SPF 35 so hopefully you guys can see that it comes with a pump like this you know what when I saw Thrive Cosmetics I really was impressed about their packaging I mean it's high quality packaging this CC cream is medium to full coverage it has 18 different shades and I currently have the uh, color golden now this one is a little too dark for me I look kind of like an Oompa Loompa when I'm putting on this CC foundation or cream I need to exchange this for a lighter one luckily Thrive has a good exchange policy unfortunately there's only 18 shades to this CC cream so I wish that they would expand their line a little bit more but I found that most CC creams are that way it has SPF 35 it contains vitamin C and it has a blurring effect technology it says it cancels fine lines and fills in pores and when I put this on I definitely see the coverage I definitely see a very flawless base it feels very lightweight it's medium coverage but you can build it up to a full coverage so as you can see in the picture it's still a Able to cover up some of my blemishes that are on my face this is good with or without a primer today I did put a pore filling primer on um, but it works so well with any type of skincare or primers underneath and that's what I love about this because I feel like it works really well with different products unlike my it cosmetic CC cream this one is really a cult favorite um, but I feel like I can only use this and this alone, nothing else. Sometimes if I use a certain kind of moisturizer or primer, it just doesn't look as good. This one plays with anybody in the playground, if you know what I mean. This cost $38 so it is pricey you can apply it with your fingertips I don't like applying anything with fingertips I prefer applying this with a brush I also like it with a sponge but you know for lighter foundations or CC creams like these um, I find that sponges kind of take away the product you get the best results with a brush definitely one of my faves this summer if you want to watch my summer favorites video that I just uploaded uploaded about two weeks ago definitely check it out this was again mentioned because that's just how good it is the so next item that I want to talk about is Thrive Cosmetics eyeshadow so I had to get it this is called the focus eyeshadow palette right here and um, you know what I love about Thrive Cosmetics makeup is that their packaging is so luxe. It's so heavy. You can definitely feel the weight. All of their products are vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free. There are no artificial fragrances on the product and I definitely noticed that. The ones that I've purchased do not have a fragrance at all. And one of the reasons why their products are a little bit more expensive is because this is a brand that has a cause and that's why it's really spelled you know cosmetics like c-a-u-s-e every purchase that you make from thrive cosmetics they always donate another item to women in need it's a brand that gives back to the community so i love it and you know this is all natural no harsh chemicals the thing with their eyeshadow palettes is that they're very neutral so this is the one i picked they named their palettes one two and three i believe they only have 
three different variations of their palette. I think there's a purpley one and there's also more of a warmer shade. I think this one is kind of like the combination in between like cool and warm shade, meaning this is the warm shade right here. And when you open it, it actually has kind of like this clear plastic that says what each shadow can be used for. So this is to prime your lid, this is to add on the lid, this is to intensify and contour. This is a shimmer, this is more of a sheen color. This one I thought was a matte, um, you know, cream shade, but it's not. And then this one is a matte dark um, brown or it's not black but really deep deep brown color this is actually my least favorite shade because i feel like it makes the whole entire makeup muddy so i like to use it to buff out my eyeliner underneath but otherwise i wouldn't put it on my eyes these three however are amazing and the eyeshadow really stays on with or without primer it's just very good very pigmented it's not as creamy and buttery i would compare these eyeshadows to like a mac eyeshadow they have the pigmentation but they're not as wet or creamy like other eyeshadows so let's say like color pop super shock eyeshadows with their eyeshadow it has a semi-permanent micro pigment technology so this eyeshadow is definitely gonna last you all day this eyeshadow has a b5 complex i personally don't know what that is it supposedly provides moisture and helps smooth out the eyelids why not right i mean as we get older the creasing is starting to happen and so you really need all the help you can get so that the eyeshadow can look better on your eyes so i love that it has that because sometimes especially if you have sensitive eyes you have dry eyes you don't want to put more eyeshadow in it because it could irritate it but this one is non-irritating at least for me i don't see it crease at all on my eyelids you can use this wet or dry it is 36 dollars for like a quad of eyeshadows so it's kind of pricey getting close to like pat mcgrath ten dollar per eyeshadow kind of deal but um oh this also has hyaluronic acid so this is great for mature eyelids i feel like they develop their makeup products with skincare in mind i think this is a great eyeshadow palette my only gripe is that i want my shades to be a little bit more exciting but if you're that type of person who is into neutral everyday shades maybe for work this would definitely be like my everyday go-to for work or school let's talk about this infinity waterproof eyeliner next this eyeliner is 22 dollars. it has about seven shades and i remember they had like purple greens blues as well as the dark browns and black shades and i bought the shade called lauren and it's basically a black and this is what it looks like and yeah just watching it for you it's very creamy it doesn't tug on the eyes it claims to have 24 hour wear and it has that semi-permanent technology again it takes a while for the makeup remover to actually remove the eyeliner from my eyes it is a waterproof eyeliner it doesn't smudge on me and the best thing is that it doesn't irritate my eyes especially now in the summertime this is a great great eyeliner and then it sets after 30 minutes once it's set it's there for good and it's not gonna move so i love this eyeliner i wish i could try other colors it has a built-in sharpener and it also has a smudger okay who uses this if you do makeup every eyeliner or at least some high-end eyeliners have this kind of rubbery smudger that you could use to smudge the eyeliner under your eye so that it's not looking too too harsh i don't know if they moisturize this with some kind of oil but when i smudge it it smudges the eyeliner so perfectly like i always use like a smudger brush to do it but you don't need that you this smudger is really good it doesn't tug on the eyes so some of the main ingredients for this eyeliner is jojoba oil it also has sodium high hyaluronate i can't pronounce that one and ceramide so the jojoba oil of course any type of oil it's very conditioning sodium hyaluronate is um is that how you pronounce it 
It hydrates your eyes. Now the ceramide kind of got me because it claims to help with younger looking eyelids and it just helps with the overall cell turnover. So whatever that means, I think that's another good benefit to have. This is non-irritating, great product. Let's go ahead and talk about the big elephant in the room liquid lash extensions mascara and this is what it looks like again there's weight to this okay speaking of weight i feel like it's as heavy yep the heaviest mascara i've ever owned which kind of when i talk about heavy i was like wait a minute there's some weight to this this is heavy is the monsieur big mascara by lancome and when I first tried this or purchased it, I was like, man, this is a heavy mascara. You know you're also paying for packaging. The brand is a high-end brand. And so I expected that. And now that I'm holding the two, this is heavier, guys. Maybe I could do some weights with this. I do need to work on my arms because I don't know about you guys. Now that summer has started, I'm realizing I'm not able to fit in my summer clothes and luckily we're in quarantine and we're not going out as much back to this the packaging is so luxe this is a tubing mascara by the way and so if you guys don't know what that is um look it up no just kidding tubing mascara basically it won't smudge it's not the regular liquid mascaras that's gonna bleed it coats every single lash it kind of molds into like a tube around your eyelashes it only comes off with warm water like cold water it's not gonna take it off it has to be warm water and those tubes kind of slowly dissolve they just fall off i've tried other tubing mascaras and i noticed that the dry down time is so quick and you can't really um layer it because it starts clumping but this one you can definitely layer it up to three times i think if you do more than that it might get clumpy i don't think i've taken it that far because i love the results i have it on right now as you can see if you want to take a look i love the bristles first of all because i feel like it's literally hanging on to every eyelash that i have which i only have three by the way <laughs> pulling my lashes and making sure that it's coating every single eyelash that i have is separating it's lengthening it's volumizing if i were to choose this is my number one mascara if you guys have seen my video on hypoallergenic mascaras i mean those are great too and i stand by those products but if this one kind of made it in the lineup this would be my number one this mascara actually now sells at ulta so this is something that you can at least purchase at ulta the mascara is 24 dollars and I think what sets this apart from all the other mascaras is that it has the orchid stem cell complex It's supposed to help you grow longer and healthier eyelashes over time with continued use I want to try to keep using this continually for a whole month to see because really I struggle with my eyelashes you know they are short i don't have enough of them and when i do curl them they curl back down all the time i have to use a waterproof mascara in order for it to stand up for a while but even then they're still very non-existent like especially to the camera i feel like it does have shea butter and castor oil so that's where the lengthening and the moisturizing comes in oh the other thing is that it's super soft when you touch your eyelashes they feel super soft not like those other tubing mascaras or that i've tried where they kind of feel a little bit crunchy and hard well hyped for a reason and now I last know. item from thrive cosmetics is their headliner lipstick um and i have the color aquila this is 26 dollars again it's very luxe attention to detail it's magnetized see you can't beat the packaging with thrive cosmetics and the attention to detail for it it says here i don't know if you can see that it says hello gorgeous when i first opened this lipstick it had the letter t 
uh, right on the bullet of the lipstick. So that was a nice detail to see. This is supposed to have some kind of lip quench technology that's supposed to plump and remove the fine lines from your lips. I have it on right now. And of all the products that I bought from Thrive Cosmetics, the lipstick is unfortunately my least favorite. There's only seven shades of lipstick, so there's not a whole lot to choose from. I love the color of this, by the way. This is what I have on right now. But the claims about plumping, moisturizing, I don't think so. In fact, I actually feel like it's drying. Like I feel the lipstick on my lips and I feel like, oh, I need to take it off and apply my lip gloss. And their lipsticks are not fully matte. They're demi matte. There's a sheen to it for sure. Let me just swatch it for you. And also it takes up to two to three coats before it becomes fully opaque on the lips. And it does claim to be like sheer to full coverage. So I think this would be good in the summertime when you just want kind of like a hint of color. I personally don't like layering. I feel like with lipsticks, especially bullet lipsticks, I want that pigmentation to be there at first swipe. I probably won't reach for this as much. So I'm definitely gonna return this one. It's not as moisturizing and it's not as pigmented as I'd hoped. It is $26, so it is on the pricey end. So I have to love the formula and the pigmentation and color of a lipstick for me to commit to that price. Again, Thrive Cosmetics, great ingredients, healthy ingredients, natural ingredients, so I think that maybe for someone like a teenager, a tween that's starting off with makeup, this would be great for them. I know my daughter, when she wears a certain type of lipstick, which I've tried before because she had a play, it irritated her lips right away and it just didn't work for her. And I feel like this would be the kind of lipstick that might work for her because it's sheer and also because it has good ingredients. So. Let's end it with that on the lipstick. So that is it guys. I think if I had another chance at Thrive, I would love to try their powders because duh, I have oily skin. And then I would love to try their blush as well. So hey Thrive, if you can hear me, maybe you can send those to me and help a girl. That is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos once a week about skincare and beauty reviews so stick around there's always something to learn here on my channel um comment down below if you've tried any thrive cosmetic products let us know what are your favorites because i definitely want to go back and try other products from them so i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll definitely see you guys back in my corner soon bye